Welcome back to Color Battle, guys. Today we're reviewing a new update. <coughs> Finally. Anyway, so there's um, a lot of. There's no new things except for three new maps and two re um, two maps with different modes. Um, that would be Bunagona now has its twin brother, twin villages, and Kalkin Gold now has its uh, now has its twin that is the. What's it called? No Mahan Engagement. Still set in the base thing, still set in the same place. Then there's um, Halba and Remagen, which Remagen, I think it's on a bridge over the Rhine River. Um, you can blow most of the bridge up, which is fantastic. I love that. Um, but I think it is based on the bridge oh, near the Rhine River because it has those towers at the each end of the bridge that you would normally see on Rhine bridges. Yeah, like the defense towers and uh, and Halba and Remagen both have the Folkstorm in it which is amazing there's two new Folkstorm maps and then my favorite is the new dog green sector map um, I don't think I ever talked about this but we are actually going to make a mini movie, a mini movie series involving the Normandy landings, but it got cut short when someone decided to blow up the whole map. Luckily, ACL had it saved, so that was that was good. And instead of continue, or I think we are going to continue on it. I don't know. Um, instead, we're just going to well, no, not instead. We um. Now that map that we are using, which is the dull green sector of Omaha Beach, is now in Call of the Battle. And I love it. Also, I did help on it, but there are some parts I don't remember, like the... I won't spoil it for anyone, but it's a really good map. And it's very, very hard for the allies, which is extremely accurate because the green sector, if I remember correctly, is the, was the bloodiest sector of Omaha. So. Now, when it comes to now, I got a complete list here of new remodeled weapons. I'll start with the M1917 Enfield. It looks amazing. Okay, that's a little too. I've not seen this many people on since um, uh, from the shadows came out, I believe. That's the M1917 N. Now we have the Browning automatic rifle, which looks completely realistic and does not look like it's in Minecraft at all. Here's a good view of it. We have all the components back here with the receiver. The magazine looks amazing. <coughs> the foregrip looks amazing. The handle looks amazing. Um, here's the stock. Let me just stock. Still looks amazing. Here, yeah, it, just, it looks so much better now. An example to how the, um, it used to look. Here's the unupdated M1918. Um, it's an aircraft version. You see, it used to have a tiny stock. It used to be tiny. I don't know if this is a good comparison, but here's what the foregrip used to look like. There was no detail here at all, except for, except for the bolt handle. Yeah, there was nothing there. Yeah, the Browning automatic rifle is amazing. <coughs> Ignore that. Anyway, we have the M1919 A4, A4 Willie's mount, and M1919 A6. Wait, give me one second. So the 1919 A4, um, I have tears of joy right now. You can't see him, but I have tears of joy. 
This is this is amazing. I didn't actually expect this one to come out, and I am not disappointed at all. I mean, who could be? This is amazing. All these remodels are amazing. We'll get to these in a second. So, and if I look under the the cover there, you can see there's even more. Detail. The bullets fit too. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I should. The M1984 variant was mainly used to just carry around in a place in some place. And this variant, <coughs> dang, the Willy's mount, looks like it's supposed to, like, it looks like it can be placed, it looks, it looks like it's supposed to be placed on the ground, even though it's not, it's supposed to be on the cheek. But still, they still actually decided to remodel this too. They even remodeled this part. How crazy is that? Look, of course, the top part looks, the gun itself looks exactly the same to this. I just admire it though. Just look at this. And last but not least, we have the 1919 A6, the portable variant, the more portable variant. Which has a stock. Um, that's the trigger right there. I don't think we saw the trigger of the previous variant. I don't know, I don't have reference because I don't know how to edit and I'm pre that's why my videos are all crappy. Here's the stock. It looks like a stock. This one actually is, is massive compared to the older variants. Um, let's see what she said. There's, yeah, there's, I don't know what to say. Of course there's a carry handle which looks amazing. There's um, some details that the others don't have like the bi the bipod. It's essentially, it the body is the same, but it's well with added parts to it. Also, yeah, I, <coughs> I guess yeah, this part the part that's meant to be mounted on stuff like that's that's uh, Willie's mount and that tripod. There's nothing like that on there. Attention to detail is amazing. Anyway, we go to the next one. That would be the Carabin SPWZ38M. I could be pronouncing it wrong though, because I don't know if it's German though. Um, so here's the new Carabin model. It looks amazing. I wish it's an inspect button, but then they had to make whole new animations for that. That's just too much unnecessary work. Look at that. So it works like the caravan should be. Should. Nothing special there. Next we have the Browning WZ28 or the RKM Browning. This is a Polish variant of Browning automatic and rifle. And before, the only difference was that the fact that it had a, a pistol grip. A pistol grip, but now one of the differences is the bipod is further a little bit back and uh, is bigger. There's more details on this side, like the, whatever this thing is, and also this is smaller because it's meant to take. Uh, Polish ammunition, I don't know. Of course, it uses the same BAR mag, so. Not only, do you, not only do you not burn through ammo in like 20 seconds, but it's more accurate that way, too. And that's, to me, that's how the bar should always be ran. run. Next we have the Machine Pistola 40, or MP40, I don't know why I said it like that. The MP40 is absolutely amazing. Main differences are like, I think the receiver is really different. 
uh, maybe the sights, but the real difference is the barrel is now rounded, which makes no sense in Minecraft, but it it does make sense. It's called a battle. It's not Minecraft in its own way. Also, ignore my skin. Uh, that was for something that failed. No, it didn't fail, but I was the captain of a ship. So next we have the MP34. The MP34 uh, was the the kit weapon. It's the only kit weapon so far, except for the M1917 Enfield. I know, I could be forgetting stuff. <coughs> no, it's the second kit weapon so far. This is for the um, SS Schutzstaffel Officer kit, and it just looks amazing. Look at that. It looks beautiful. The bolt handle, it just looks like it doesn't belong in Minecraft. Next we have the machine and pistol, the Ox und, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't say the number before. The machine and pistol, uh, 28. Two, um, or an MP28 two. I don't know what the two's for yet. And they changed this model because the Lancaster machine gun, um, which is essentially the British version of this gun, looked way better than this. And uh, everyone knew that. Yeah, no, that that's it's it's not right. So differences between the two are definitely that. Since they basically use the same model as a base or something, except the sights are different. Man, can you piss off? The sights are definitely different. I think the rich ones are better. Yeah, the rich ones are har far better. The bolt handle is way different. Um, the rich ones are just a, a metal rod. And this is actually a bolt handle. The rear plate is different. Like at the end of the, the receiver, I believe. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Oh, I see. I'm crouching. Look at that. They look the same now, almost, or very similar now. With those minor differences. Next we have the machine gewehr 34 and machine gewehr uh, 34 lafetta lafetta mount. <coughs> the machine gewehr 34 um, goes right here. The lafet mount goes right here. <coughs> And yes, they even changed the Lafette mount, I believe. I mean, of course, if they changed the Willys mount, I'm pretty sure they changed. The old, out with the old and in with the new. Well, this one has textures. Yeah, I know they did. They did change it because I'm pretty sure they were the same height before. I could be wrong though. The MG42 did not get an update, but it still looks great. So no no harm done there. It doesn't matter that they update the MG42. That'll give people a great reason to just do this all the time with the MG42 and just kill everyone. Anyway, so we have MG42 left that mount. Yeah, the mounts, these weapons look amazing. And one slight problem with this one. Oh no, never mind! <coughs> and wait. Because I thought, yeah, it does that. That's the problem. 
I don't think it's supposed to do that. The bullets even stick out in the end, so I highly doubt it's supposed to do that. Question that is that a volley sight right there, <laughs> or is it just the reset? <coughs> <coughs> Fucking allergies. Anyway, we have the Arisaka Type 99, 99 Long Rifle, and 99 Sniper. <coughs> They give everyone a really extremely good reason to use the 99 more often. Now, if you're wondering, no, they did not update the Type 38 or the Type 97. You know, isn't a Type 97 a Type 99? I don't know. Type 97 rifle, not machine gun. The machine gun does not need a model update because since oh, it looks fantastic. Animations. <coughs> ah, that <coughs> hurt. Yes, we have the Titan and the Sniper variant. The reason I need a different variant for the snipe, the scope the sniper, is not it does it's not the fact that it just has a, a scope on it. The bolt handle, as you can see, is more curved than the other ones. And that's the same thing with the Mosin the Gaunt sniper. And speaking of the Mosin the Gaunt, unlike the Mosin the Gaunt, Mosin the Gaunt, this thing actually is correct with all of its parts. Because with the Mosin, the bayonet. We just get it, it won't it doesn't render correctly. It's like halfway inside the gun and barrel. But for this one, I did fix that completely. Also, I think I should have actually made some of the Arisakas. I just can't place these. <coughs> oh, that's not mm. Now you can see <coughs> Fuck. Now you can see the uh I don't know what you can see here. What am I looking at? Oh, this glitch used to happen a lot with the Type 97. <clears throat> I'm a bit sick. Now, of course, the sniper variant can take the same thing. put all these in the crate really. Did I find a I mean chest? Uh, hopefully this one ain't uh, uh, oh that's good, that's good. I could really examine. Main difference is you can see the bolt handle here, the bolt handle here is definitely curved. The sight the scope is really nice amazing. Also they fixed I don't know if it was just the LMDs or the rifle or both, but they fixed the fact that the um, the 99 actually used to look r r rusty. The bayonet actually used to, be to look rusty if you place down the air sock. Yeah, but now it has the grenade launcher. I don't know if it works yet in the multiplayer, but we can use it here. This just shows the inner workings of the area stock. I bet if I reloaded it. Huh. What's well, got multiple bullets in there? Now we're done with the, the weapons. 
let's move on to the uniforms. So the Polish standard uniforms, not the um, not the naval infantry or uh, the Warsaw Uprising one, actually doesn't the it's not one that would actually get like the Polish uprising. The Warsaw Uprising would not have a helmet like this, as those helmets, these ones. <coughs> their gear is German. That's most of their Polish gear they didn't have access to. So their gear is actually German. So an update to this would mean an update to all other Stahlhelms, all other German looking uniforms, like the Finnish mainly. We have the German Stahlhelm. Yeah, there's really a lot to be updated here, really. But then it would mean it updated to the Finnish stuff. And this. There's a lot of helmets to fix. So, just be happy with this, as it looks just fine. Anyway. What the heck? What am I getting pinged for? Anyway, so first we have the, they use the um, German M3043 model as a base for this, and I don't know if it looks too different or not, let me see. Yeah, you can tell that they basically did that. The, Big ma ma major change, not just in the textures, but also this. I don't even think that's a texture. Yeah, that's a model. That's a model. Oh. Huh. It's a big difference. Also, I put this on there because I'm actually fairly certain that it also got to change. <coughs> I don't know why it just looks different to me, but I haven't played in a while. So the helmet looks just like a Polish or Soviet or Roman no, that's Romanian helmet. Helmet supposed to be changed differently. This looks exactly like a Polish or Soviet helmet should look like. It's got it's curved. It if I were to pull up a picture of a real SS840 helmet. It looked like this. Now, Soviet helmets aren't changed yet. Nothing, nothing Russian got changed. Nothing British got changed. I don't believe. And this just looks amazing. There, there's an M1919 going through my arm. Ignore that. So now we have the Japanese uniforms, which had a total overhaul. <coughs> So first off, we have something that lawyer said he based off the twenty, uh, the T, the Type Twenty helmet, Type Ninety helmet, excuse me. And so it has it's it's smaller, and it has uh, the the flaps that they, you would see on the field cap. There's no field cap, I don't think. Yeah, no, there's no field cap. Nothing new was added. It's just those maps, and these remodels that are absolutely amazing. See, oh, I think I forgot to go over this. It's basically the same. So the gear, I mean, these all got, even the icons got changed. Even the icons for this too, you see they have the, the detail on the collar. The icon for this also got changed, it's now darker. But the icons for the Japanese uniforms also got changed. So here we have basic. It's just the standard uniform. And then we have Rifleman, which still has the same pouches, but now it has the straps. Also, yeah, he added that underneath the collar. And, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they have different gear for sure. Because <coughs> they used to not have 
anything back here, except for maybe a few things like that. that. Now they have a sh now the rifleman has a shovel. Uh, apparently, all riflemen do. According to this, um, there's a pouch under the arm here. I don't know what that's for. See, nothing. Oh. <coughs> Yeah, there's a little satchel pouch down there too. Like it, it used to be like that too. It still had the pouches, but it was big and bulky and didn't look right. Why can't I just? Why is it lagging so much? Oh, cause I have a shitty computer, maybe. Oh, what, what if I turn this on? Don't mind. Just ignore the, the noise. It's probably because it's overheating right now. Uh, I don't know what that is. Probably a scroll. But, I don't know. Yeah, so all that gear. There's, um, then, here we have the Assault class, or T T100, um, Type 100 gear. Which has mag pouches like this. Which is completely new. <coughs> I'm sick. Good dude! Uh, yeah, these are also blankets, I'm fairly certain. I don't know what's in this bag. we has got the rear pouches there. Next is the Type 2A Assault. Or just Type 2A gear. And instead of having those little curved magazines down there, it has four uh, of these mag pouches. Because the Type 2 Type 2A burns through ammo. Fast. And it's got the um, same colored blanket as the Rifleman does. But same rear gear as the assault. Next, we have the naval infantry, <coughs> which has, of course, it has assault gear. It basically just has assault gear because it is just a naval assault class. And next, we have the Kenpatai. Um, I think I'm saying that right. I could be wrong. Anyway, they changed the lettering on it. They added a holster for that Type 26 it comes with. There's another pouch here. And also, the thing is... <coughs> I hate my sickness. Uh, so, you see that these all have different color. These all have the same color here, but it's different now. Well, it used to be that, that those pants would go with these pants. No longer is that the case, as I had to use the naval infantry pants for these two. But I think it's like that in the uh, online, because like if you, you can actually if you equip a kit, or even like kit items are equipped sometimes, even though you can't equip them single player. There are kit items sometimes equipped. Like if you are Finnish, you notice that you can't actually use the snow hood in uh, online or in single player. Even though sometimes if you're playing on a winter war map, you'll see the Finnish having this and oh my god is my hair absolutely I need to I'm gonna have to switch it out just go back to my old skin even though I like having two eyes so you can see that always on the map but you can never use it single player and then we have the OSS kit which uses the SS pants so yeah same thing they probably they probably did that with these anyway um, next we have the jungle sniper, which actually looks like it can camouflage. It's camouflage. It actually looks camouflage. Oh, he changed the jungle layer. It's the main thing. Um, it's basically all he did was the most important thing he had to do was really change the helmet to match everything else. And then he changed the leaf structure, of course. I don't think he did it with the uh, the Yokosuka with the jungle wrap. I could be wrong though. No. I mean, it doesn't matter. Fairly certain that if I was in the tree like this, you wouldn't see me that well. Let me test that theory. If I found a position like this, There's anything like this on the map, but I could be wrong. Fuck. Dude, 
but we have a hard time seeing you. So the trees <coughs> now speak Japanese. Yeah, that's that. And last but not least, we have a texture correction for the special infantry. Um, Romanian special infantry. As it used to be that this was all discolored. It really was. Well, now it looks like its counterpart. Um, still, I don't know why the icon isn't like that, is like that, yet they still have the helmet looking like this. I'm pretty sure that model's done. I don't know what's going on. But they also um, added the icons for them finally. It looks really nice, the icons do. <coughs> And this, it, it looks way better with a texture correction. And those mag pouches are very similar to the MP40 mag pouches because this uses MP40 magazines. Makes sense. Arita M1941. Yeah, that's basically that. Um, new animations for the Italian pistols. It's the only Italian pistol that's not a kit gun. That's a, well, <laughs> well, later on these two won't be kit guns. I, I don't think. Also, yeah, I've been having this problem with my so-so. Lawyer, please help. Like I said, they now, they now have better animations <coughs> and textures, except for this one. Like, it used to be like just bright white on the Bonadeo, but it's really kind of like that's supposed to be like. Next, we have the Beretta M1934, which already has an amazing model. It never, it, I don't think it'll ever need a remodel. But oh, I think it does have a better model. <laughs> I don't remember that piece being down there. So, uh, that's basically it. I know I didn't open the chest over here. That's all the other modeled weapons. I think all the other, the the M nineteen elevens, the Colts and. I don't know, WZ 35 Viz, every single Grand variant, and every single Mosin variant except for the Obrez and the two Snow variants. You have the M91, M91 LR, BU Sniper, M38, and M44 Carabines, the Carabinac WZ 91, 98, 26, Carabinac WZ 91, Mosin at M27, M27 RV, which has the curved bolt. And the most again, and the big one. My <coughs> <coughs> only problem with the Mosins is that if I try to equip the attachment on them, it doesn't work. Well, the suppressor is just inside inside the gun. It still works, but it's inside of the gun. Same with the bayonet, it's too far in because, in reality, the most of the gun bayonet was really long. <coughs> <laughs> this is not a Mosin to get bayonet. It's supposed to be. Yeah, they changed the model for it, I believe, but they just haven't. They didn't position it right. The scopes, I'm pretty sure, are fine, though. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, please do everyone a favor and check out this mod. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, and have a good day. Ugh! <laughs>